realm of praise and worship family. I welcome you all in the mighty name of Jesus Christ our Lord. In this new day, new season, as we begin our journey, may the Holy Spirit guide our ways, our mind, and our spirit. Let's pray. Father, it's in the mighty name of Jesus Christ we are here together in your presence to hear from you, learn from you. Regardless of our different circumstances, you alone can take us into another dimension where each one of us can learn to live a life the way you expect us to be. Now, Father God, speak to our souls, speak to our spirits, change our life. We open our heart today, right now, full of gratitude to receive blessings from you. You alone who deserve our praise and worship. Receive all the glory. It's in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray. Amen. Business for the glory of God. That's the title for this course. Uh, for those who feel uncomfortable with my accent, I promise I will do my best to improve. But for now, let's keep trying to move while we are waiting. Business for the glory of God, more like a book. We will have different chapters based on the information we will be sharing. The first chapter, define your purpose before you set your goal. My friend, don't ever go to bed and start dreaming in the night before you have a dream in the daylight. Let's try to meditate together and see what I mean. You can start by connecting your heart with your mind. Let your soul and your spirit take you, take your burning desire in the center of your transformation. I mean the hand of your Creator. Now allow the Holy Spirit to take you in that realm. The realm where perspective of the reality is what you see. The reality is what you believe. In that same dimension, picture yourself the future. Who you are becoming is way bigger than what you have been through. What you are becoming is more important, more variable than what you have received so far. Your destination is more important than the current location, You're more important than your current situation. In that same dimension, that same spiritual realm, start looking for a seed. Before your life began, God has placed in you a seed. Jeremiah 1, 5, God says, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I sanctified you. Now you know you can trust God with your life. God trusted you with a free will. The choice is yours. Where you place the roots of your seed depends totally on you. The source of all good things comes from the rock of Jesus Christ. You can let him today be the source of your life. From this meditation, I want you to remember these five questions. There's why, when, what, how, and what, when. Why, what, where, how, and when. The first question, why? You find your seed. You find your purpose. That's why. You find your seed. You find your purpose. That's why. Then there's the second question, what? What is my mission? Make sure your seed is growing. That's your mission. There's where. The fruit you will receive, that's your goal. The fruit you will receive, that's your goal. Where you want to be. Then there is how. How is just a test and I wish you today shall be a testimony. However, there are some requirements. 
your name has to be written in the book of life. You have to accept Jesus Christ as your personal savior, the only God who died and rose again just to pay the price for your sins. And last there is when. The question when that's up to you. It can be now or never. I I mean like it depends on you. For those who we choose to go for later, just remember this. Tomorrow is not a promise. Tomorrow later can be never. Time is a precious gift that we were never meant to control. We use it as a currency in the spiritual dimension. In the spiritual realm, we all have equal opportunity despite our different quantity of time. We are designed to win no matter what circumstances we are facing. We have no excuse. John 15, 22. I had, if I had not come to spoken to them, they would have been guilty of sin. But now they have no excuse for the sin. There's also Romans 8, 1. But the structure of our body, the structure of our nature should not define our result. You are a leader of your body, not the owner. Your body is a house of your creator. 1 Corinthians 3.16 Imagine a day in your life as a structured system designed to store and transfer all your information where you can never retrieve them. You alone are responsible of your action. No matter how much decrease of influences the external output, the external input affected you. Now, let me ask you a question. Do you believe that there is always a return on investment in all your action taken during the course of our life? Do you believe that like the uh, a return on investment in all our action taken during the course of our lifetime on earth. So see you guys in the next chapter.